I have been on my healthy hair journey and I'm going to explain exactly what that's meant for me and why. So this was a huge deal for me and it was quite tricky that first there was a lot of damage and I noticed quite a lot of breakage underneath. It's amazing for my scalp to just see my hair in its very natural after washed state. Let's talk about and you can see where the breakage starts and the frizz retains twice as much internal moisture. Completely agree. for my slightly croaky voice this morning. I had not a great night's sleep last night. It happens sometimes. So I've got slightly bloodshot eyes and a very croaky voice. So I've popped a bit of face on so it's not too unsightly for you. But today is a very exciting video. I've been wanting to share this one with you for so long. As lots of you will know, I have been on my healthy hair journey and I'm going to explain exactly what that's meant for me and why. So it's something I have never done before, like in December, approaching January, where you get all those New Year's resolutions and everything, I decided I was going to completely stop my hair dye and salon visits. Obviously I moved to a hot country and I continued to doing what I've always done which is just going to the salon every six to eight weeks for a little trim and some highlights or lowlights or both and I used to just combine it like that but with the long hot summers that didn't seem to be enough for my hair anymore it seemed to be getting more and more damaged and in December 2021 I just thought this is not the fresh look which I you know, you usually leave the hair salon thinking, ah, oh, fresh hair. Well, I wasn't getting that feeling anymore. I was just noticing that there was a lot of damage and I noticed quite a lot of breakage underneath when I was drying my hair. So I thought, right, I need to make a change. So I just decided to take it into my own hands. I thought I'm not going to colour my hair, which is something I can't even remember a time when I didn't colour my hair. Like going back to my childhood, even those family holidays when you go away with your parents like my mum used to french plait my hair and put a little bit of lemon juice in it just for that like sun-kissed streaky look and then from then on I can't remember not ever having some kind of mini highlights or something to brighten my hair so this was a huge deal for me and it was quite tricky that first Gosh, I don't know, two to three months was the hardest, I'd say, because once your rootage starts to come through against the bleach, it looks so harsh. It looked like black and white. And then I turned the corner and it then started, I think, to look a bit more ombre and like blend a little bit better. So it definitely got easier for me. Along with not going to the salon and having colour on my hair, there's lots more things that I've done on this journey to try and get my hair in the best possible condition. So I'm gonna talk you through every single step that I've done and products and things that I've found to really benefit. I am gonna eventually take this towel off my hair, which has been on all morning. So when I do get around to taking it off, my hair will be quite dry underneath here. So I've been in the shower this morning, I've washed, I'm gonna show you everything I've used, I'm gonna show you my routine right through to drying it. So, first off, number one tip, I would say something that you're not gonna necessarily think of when it comes to your hair care, but number one for me is a silk pillowcase. Lovely, so lush to sleep with. I wake up with less bedhead, that's for sure, because it lets your hair glide easily, stops it getting tangled as much. Besides from that, it's really lovely on your skin. It's a great temperature regulator. It's going to stop that squashy pillow mush face as much. And yeah, I think once you've tried a silk pillowcase and got used to it, it's very difficult to go back to a cotton one. So that's my number one. Number two is 
diet nutrition which leads me on to the hair gummies the hair vitamins now i was taking them for a while but not long enough to actually notice if there was making any difference to my hair i actually stopped all my vitamins and supplements just because i got my combination completely mixed up when i looked into it i was taking far too much vitamin d and i just decided that my body needed a break but I am quite good with my diet. I always try and make sure that I'm getting enough vegetables and oils and good fats, nuts, seeds, things like that. So I think if your diet's not great, then your hair might not be as well because I think it's a lot to do with what we're putting inside. So that could even lead to hair loss or anything like that. So I would definitely say keep that in mind. Good diet. Before I get on and show you my usual weekly routine something that i was doing more at the beginning of the hair care journey rather than now i was doing home oil treatments so i didn't buy anything new specifically i just went with what i had in the cupboards and i did like a combination of natural oils so castor oil was one the second one was tea tree because i used to suffer with a bad scalp quite a lot like build up and flaky scalp so castor oil tea tree and also um, almond oil sweet almond oil just make a combination in this bowl mix it all up you can use different oils if you go on Pinterest or just type in Google home um, hair oil treatments there's so many to choose from on there but I would just make a mixture mix it up and on those days where it was close to hair wash day and I wasn't leaving the house. I would just paint it all over my roots, massage it in and then pop like a cellophane plastic bag over my hair just to seal it all in. Just one of these over my hair, clip it and honestly I would just leave it on as I went about me chores at home like the longer the better six hours ish and then i did need to wash my hair twice though to get it out so i was doing that once a week now it's more like once a month because it is a little bit of a faff but that's something i definitely found helped my scalp helped my hair and just got it in a really good place okay let's get to what I feel like is a really important chunk of my routine. My shampoo and conditioner for one. I'm going to take this towel off now because it's annoying me and I wanted you to see my hair in its very natural after washed state. No matter what condition my hair is in, it will always be a tangled mess after I've washed it. It's just my hair type. My hair is very fine but there's lots of it so it gets very matted and it needs close attention when brushing it very very gentle and really take time with it which is something I felt like hairdressers can rush sometimes because they'll have another client booked in after you or whatever so they can be quite rough like it takes me quite a long time to get the brush through my hair properly and a lot of the time I have to let it dry a lot first um, if I try and get it through when it's too wet it will just make it worse so I've left my shampoo and conditioner in the bathroom. I'm going to go and grab those now. Absolutely love these. And I've tried a few. I love it. I keep going back to it. So when I first started my hair care journey, I was using this brand, Red Ken. I was using, they were like dark navy blue bottles. Nice. But I got to the end of them and I wanted to try something different. I wasn't like blown away or anything. So I stuck with the same brand because I did find it nice. But I went with their acid bonding concentrate range it just looked really good online it had loads of amazing reviews and just wanted to try it so this has got uh, citric acid in it it's amazing for my scalp other shampoos and conditioners what usually happens is they feel your hair feels fresh and your scalp feels clean after you've used them but after a couple of days for me i start to get that scalp build up which leads to me having a sore scalp i don't get that with this um, even my mum came and stayed and she used this and she was like, wow, my hair feels completely different. And she went online and ordered it. So she had it when she got home. 
and my mum doesn't fall for any rubbish like <laughs> um but yeah i really do love it honestly it's definitely worth investing in the bottles don't look huge but they actually last quite a long time because the product spreads quite far it um lathers up you know the shampoo especially um the only downside is i always run out of my conditioner first but that's the same with anything so i use my shampoo like i say not a huge amount it spreads quite far massage that in my scalp rinse then go in with my conditioner rinse that out leave a towel on my hair for a little while although it's been a bit longer today and then there is a number three to that range which is the acid perfecting concentrate leave-in treatment so this i go in with quite a large I mean it's more than a pea size amount just because my hair's past my shoulders but probably that much and I don't go straight in at the root I probably start from the middle so you apply this to damp hair mine is definitely getting dry now but <laughs> focus in on the middle and the ends and then I do just rub the remainder over the root like that okay at that point i will try and just tease my hair through from the bottom sometimes it just won't let me so i'll have to let it naturally dry a little bit or give it a little blow with the hair dryer just to get rid of some of that water and then just do a section at a time I use a wet brush or a tangle teaser could not use any other brush this section here is always the worst for me to get the brush through I think it's where the um, most damage is so as I get to this point I will then go in with my Redken 25 multi benefit spray um, this is another fab product. It's good for all sorts. It's a detangler. It's a heat protection spray. It's got so many benefits in this. Detangles, instant results, ideal cutting lotion, primes hair for styling, helps prevent breakage from brushing, safe for colour treated hair, helps prevent heat damage, helps prevent split ends yeah 25 benefits in there so i'll link that down below everything that i speak about in this video i will pop in the description box so you're not going to forget you can just refer to there i will also put links to any products that i can in there as well and i just lift up at the root and just give it a spray and it doesn't seem to make my hair greasy i can use quite a bit of that i just use it as much as I need to until the brush is through it all. This is probably the most time consuming part. Something I didn't mention as well on this journey was about three months in, I noticed what felt like my hair getting thinner, which really confused me because I thought, surely my hair's supposed to get thicker if I'm doing all this good to it but it felt um mm, it felt silkier and smoother and thinner like the bubble seemed to be smaller you know and that bec is because my hair was so damaged it was making the actual strand of hair thicker because it's damaged like the cortex is damaged so my hair was very coarse and dry before Whereas now it's a lot more silky and smooth. And like I say, I struggled with that at first because I felt like my hair was getting finer, but it's not. It was just getting in better condition. We're free from knots. It feels really smooth. The brush is just gliding through it. So I've used what I've told you about, which is the shampoo, the conditioner, the number three treatment and the 25 multi benefit spray. Um, now I'm going to move on to drying and I've got a new piece of kit to show you actually which I'm very excited about and I'm going to be completely honest and transparent with you. So let's talk about the Zuvi Halo 
This brand reached out to me to do a review. I looked at it, it's a light therapy hair dryer and honestly I thought, novelty. What is this? It looks like a Dyson. Um, so I was very sceptical and but I checked out the website and then I went on to read some reviews and watch some videos and honestly I couldn't say no. I was intrigued. I thought, do you know what? I'll take the product, I'll trial it. If I don't recommend it, I don't have to show you a lot. I wasn't in any obligation to do that. I've tried it and it is amazing. So here it is. I mean, it's very smart looking. It comes in a really amazing box. It feels quite heavy in the box, but actually it's very light. So this uses special light to actually dry your hair. It's got no UV light in there, so it's not gonna damage your skin or your hair or anything like that. And it regulates at a much lower temperature than your average hair dryer. So it uses a lot less heat. It's actually good for your hair. So what the light therapy does is it dries your hair from the outside without overheating it and damaging it and drying the inside of the, the cortex, basically. It's all about keeping your natural moisture, as much moisture as possible, locked inside your hair without drying it too harsh because that's what creates damaged, flyaway, frizzy hair. And that's the number one thing that I noticed when using this. So I'm gonna show you, I'm gonna show you how it works. So you've got different modes on this hair dryer. You've got a care mode, a fast mode, a soft mode, and a style mode. You get three different attachments and the first one is your diffuser end. Now this is to be used with the fast setting and it just locks in your curls and your waves. So wait for curly wavy hair. I don't personally use that one because if I'm curling my hair I will use my curling tongs after. Then you've got your styling concentrator nozzle. I use this one, I like it. It's better for getting that sleek, smooth look. And this one is to be used with the style setting. You obviously get your buckler and all your instructions with this. So if it sounds a little bit complicated, it's really not. You can obviously use it without any end as well. You've then got your gentle air attachment, which looks like that. And this is to be used with the fast mode and it's just for sensitive scalp. Basically, it disperses the air. Um, so that's your three different ends, guys. I think I'm going to use the sleek nozzle today and just show you how I style my hair if I'm wearing it more straight. Like I said, usually I will stand underneath the bathroom spotlight and you can see where the breakage starts and the frizz. And with this, literally instantly I've just dried it and this is how smooth and shiny it is. Now with a normal hair dryer, it would usually take me a few hours for it to feel settled and smooth. And that's because, like I said, the light therapy is so important. You can even get it really close to your scalp without it burning your scalp because it regulates at a much lower temperature and it's actually healthy for your hair. So I've got the box here and it's got some really interesting facts which I won't argue with, I completely believe. So it enhances hair shine by 38%. Hair dye lasts 57% longer, improves smoothness by 17%, healthier and 9% stronger, retains twice as much internal moisture. Completely agree. It's also much less impact on the environment and uses a lot less energy, which is another added bonus. 
So I think it's safe to say that I am a big fan of the Zuby Halo and I was more than happy to share it with you lot. I think that's it. I'm pretty much at the end of my hair care routine. Obviously, this doesn't include my styling, which I would usually do at this point or the following day after it's had a good relax i would usually run the straighteners over it or i'd do my curling method if you want me to share that with you on another video do let me know although this one is just my hair care routine um i also didn't mention that if i'm going out in the sun all day i do make sure i put a uv protection spray on so this is the one that i'm using it's the bb invisible oil heat uv protection primer so i will link that down below i'll also put all the details obviously for the zuby halo and everything else that i've talked about in today's video down below in the description box and i think that's it guys um if i've missed anything out or if you've got any questions just leave them in the comment section down below and i'll get back to you um regarding cutting honestly i bought myself a good pair of cutting scissors at the beginning of my journey and every four to six weeks I literally just snip the ends off so that's what I've been doing and I shared it all with you thanks so much for watching I've really enjoyed catching up with you on this Wednesday vlog I will see you all in Sunday's video Send